Hi, in this video, we'll learn how to subtract unlike fractions. Now, let's talk about unlike fractions. What do you mean by unlike fractions? Unlike fractions have unlike denominators. That means the denominators are different. Here in this fraction, you see that the denominator is 7. and this fraction, you have a denominator of 3. So these are called unlike fractions because they have different denominators. And uh, you can't um, add or subtract unlike fractions unless you convert them into like fractions. So if you want to subtract unlike fractions, you will have to convert them into like fractions first. So unlike fractions have different denominators and the like fractions will have the same denominators. That means you will have to, you should have the same denominators in order to add or subtract the fractions. So first thing, we, what we're going to do is we need the same denominators. Now I'll show you a very simple way to make the denominators equal. What I'm going to do is I'll multiply this fraction. I'll multiply this fraction by the denominator of this fraction. And then I'll multiply this fraction by the denominator of this fraction. That means you just multiply each fraction with the denominator of other fraction. That means I'll multiply 5 7 by the denominator of the other fraction, which is 3 here. So denominator is 3. That means I have to multiply by 3 over 3. Now remember that I have to do, uh, whatever I do to the denominator, I will have to do the same thing to the numerator because 3 over 3 is equal to 1 and 5 7 times 1 is going to be 5 7. That means I've not changed the value of this fraction at all. And then here, what we will do is we'll do the same thing. We'll multiply this fraction by the denominator of the other fraction, which is 7 here. So denominator is 7. That means we will multiply this fraction by 7 over 7. So remember that you multiply each fraction with the other fraction's denominator. That means you multiply each fraction with each other's denominator, each other's denominator, this by 3 and this by 7. Now we just multiply the numerators and denominators. 3 times 5 is going to be 15. 3 times 7 is going to be 21. Minus 2 times 7 will be 14. And 3 times 7 is 21. Now you can see that I have same denominators. So that means these are the like fractions because they have the same denominators. Now I can go ahead and subtract them. So subtract the numerators, 15 minus 14 is going to be 1, and then you never add or subtract the denominator. So this, the denominator will stay 21. So my final answer is going to be 1 over 21. So when you subtract, when you subtract this, so here, let's write here, 5 7 minus 2 3rd, your answer is going to be 1 over 21. That's the final answer. So the, um, uh, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next video.